A linear encoder is a sensor, transducer or redhead paired with a scale that encodes position. The sensor reads the scale in order to convert the encoded position into an analog or digital signal, which can then be decoded into position by a digital readout DRO or motion controller. The encoder can be either incremental or absolute. Motion can be determined by change in position over time. Linear encoder technologies include optical, magnetic, inductive, capacitive and eddy current. Optical technologies include shadow, self-imaging and interferometric. Linear encoders are used in metrology instruments, motion systems, inkjet printers and high-precision machining tools ranging from digital calipers and coordinate measuring machines to stages, CNC mills, manufacturing gantry tables and semiconductor steppers. Topic. Physical principle Linear encoders are transducers that exploit many different physical properties in order to encode position. Topic. Scale, reference-based Optical Optical linear encoders dominate the high-resolution market and may employ shuttering, moiré, diffraction or holographic principles. Optical encoders are the most accurate of the standard styles of encoders, and the most commonly used in industrial automation applications. When specifying an optical encoder, it's important that the encoder have extra protection built in to prevent contamination from dust, vibration and other conditions common to industrial environments. Typical incremental scale periods vary from hundreds of micrometers down to sub-micrometer. Interpolation can provide resolutions as fine as a nanometer. Light sources used include infrared LEDs, visible LEDs, miniature light bulbs and laser diodes. Topic. Magnetic Magnetic linear encoders employ either active magnetized or passive variable reluctance scales and position may be sensed using sense coils, Hall effect or magnetoresistive redheads. With coarser scale periods than optical encoders typically a few hundred micrometers to several millimeters resolutions in the order of a micrometer are the norm. Topic. Capacitive Capacitive linear encoders work by sensing the capacitance between a reader and scale. Typical applications are digital calipers. One of the disadvantages is the sensitivity to uneven dirt, which can locally change the relative permittivity. Topic. Inductive Inductive technology is robust to contaminants, allowing calipers and other measurement tools that are coolant-proof. A well-known application of the inductive measuring principle is the inductosin. Topic. Eddy current U.S. Patent 3,820,110 Eddy current type digital encoder and position reference gives an example of this type of encoder, which uses a scale coded with high and low permeability, non-magnetic materials, which is detected and decoded by monitoring changes in inductance of an AC circuit that includes an inductive coil sensor. Maxon makes an example rotary encoder product the mile encoder. Topic. Without scales. Topic. Optical image sensor. The sensors are based on an image correlation method. The sensor takes subsequent pictures from the surface being measured and compares the images for displacement. Resolutions down to 1 nanometer are possible.
Topic Applications There are two main areas of application for linear encoders. Topic Measurement Measurement application include coordinate measuring machines CMM, laser scanners, calipers, gear measurement, tension testers, and digital readouts DROS. Topic. Motion systems Servo-controlled motion systems employ linear encoder so as to provide accurate, high-speed movement. Typical applications include robotics, machine tools, pick-and-place PCB assembly equipment, semiconductors handling and test equipment, wire bonders, printers and digital presses. Topic. Output signal formats Topic. Incremental signals Linear encoders can have analog or digital outputs. Topic. Analog The industry standard, analog output for linear encoders is sine and cosine quadrature signals. These are usually transmitted differentially so as to improve noise immunity. An early industry standard was 12 microamperes peak-peak current signals but more recently this has been replaced with 1 volt peak-to-peak -peak voltage signals. Compared to digital transmission, the analog signal's lower bandwidth helps to minimize EMC emissions. Quadrature sine, cosine signals can be monitored easily by using an oscilloscope in XY mode to display a circular Lissajou figure. Highest accuracy signals are obtained if the Lissajou figure is circular no gain or phase error and perfectly centered. Modern encoder systems employ circuitry to trim these error mechanisms automatically. The overall accuracy of the linear encoder is a combination of the scale accuracy and errors introduced by the redhead. Scale contributions to the error budget include linearity and slope scaling factor error. Redhead error mechanisms are usually described as cyclic error or subdivisional error SDE as they repeat every scale period. The largest contributor to redhead inaccuracy is signal offset, followed by signal imbalance elipticity and phase error the quadrature signals not being exactly 90 degrees apart. Overall signal size does not affect encoder accuracy, however, signal-to-noise and jitter performance may degrade with smaller signals. Automatic signal compensation mechanisms can include automatic offset compensation AOC, automatic balance compensation ABC, and automatic gain control AGC. Phase is more difficult to compensate dynamically and is usually applied as one-time compensation during installation or calibration. Other forms of inaccuracy include signal distortion, frequently harmonic distortion of the sine cosine signals. Topic. Digital A linear incremental encoder has two digital output signals, A and B, which issue quadrature square waves. Depending on its internal mechanism, an encoder may derive A and B directly from sensors which are fundamentally digital in nature, or it may interpolate its internal, analog sine, cosine signals. In the latter case, the interpolation process effectively sub-divides the scale period and thereby achieves higher measurement resolution. In either case, the encoder will output quadrature square waves, with the distance between edges of the two channels being the resolution of the encoder. The reference mark or index pulse is also output in digital form, as a pulse which is 1 to 4 units of resolution wide. The output signals may be directly transmitted to a digital incremental encoder interface for position tracking. The major advantages of linear incremental encoders are improved noise immunity, high measurement accuracy, and low latency reporting of position changes. 
However, the high-frequency, fast signal edges may produce more EMC emissions. Topic. Absolute reference signals As well as analog or digital incremental output signals, linear encoders can provide absolute reference or positioning signals. Topic. Reference mark Most incremental, linear encoders can produce an index or reference mark pulse providing a datum position along the scale for use at power up or following a loss of power. This index signal must be able to identify position within one, unique period of the scale. The reference mark may comprise a single feature on the scale, an autocorrelator pattern typically a Barker code or a chirp pattern. Distance-coded reference marks DCRM, are placed onto the scale in a unique pattern allowing a minimal movement typically moving past two reference marks to define the redhead's position. Multiple, equally spaced reference marks may also be placed onto the scale such that following installation, the desired marker can either be selected, usually via a magnet or optically or unwanted ones deselected using labels or by being painted over. Topic. Absolute code With suitably encoded scales multi-track, vernier, digital code, or pseudo-random code an encoder can determine its position without movement or needing to find a reference position. Such absolute encoders also communicate using serial communication protocols. Many of these protocols are proprietary e.g., FANUC, Mitsubishi, FIDAT, Fagor Automation, NDAT, DriveClick, Panasonic, Yaskawa, but open standards such as BIS are now appearing, which avoid tying users to a particular supplier. Topic. Limit switches Many linear encoders include built-in limit switches, either optical or magnetic. Two limit switches are frequently included such that on power up the controller can determine if the encoder is at an end of travel and in which direction to drive the axis. Topic. Physical arrangement and protection Linear encoders may be either enclosed or open. Enclosed linear encoders are employed in dirty, hostile environments such as machine tools, they typically comprise an aluminium extrusion enclosing a glass or metal scale. Flexible lip seals allow an internal, guided redhead to read the scale. Accuracy is limited due to the friction and hysteresis imposed by this mechanical arrangement. For the highest accuracy, lowest measurement hysteresis and lowest friction applications, open linear encoders are used. Linear encoders may use transmissive, glass, or reflective scales, employing raunchy or phase gratings. Scale materials include chrome on glass, metal, stainless steel, gold-plated steel, inver, ceramics, zerother, and plastics. The scale may be self-supporting, thermally mastered to the substrate via adhesive or adhesive tape or track mounted. Track mounting may allow the scale to maintain its own coefficient of thermal expansion and allows large equipment to be broken down for shipment. Topic. Encoder terms Resolution Repeatability Hysteresis Signal-to-noise ratio, noise-jitter Lissajou figure Quadrature Index, reference mark, datum, fiducial Distance-coded reference marks, DCRM Topic. See also Encoder Rotary encoder.